Hello, I'm Tammy Shion Bade, Houston-based attorney and host of Ask Tammy Live, where we discuss the best ways to establish your business, protect your name, and keep your profits. Today's question of the day is, is it better to trademark my logo or copyright my logo? All right, so really the essence of this question is understanding the difference between a copyright and a trademark. I'm gonna start right there. A copyright is a bundle of rights given to someone who has an original work that they've created. So that original work can be a book, it can be poetry, it can be a song, it can be a screenplay, it can be a movie, right? But it's something original that someone has created. And the really key thing is that they fixed it into some medium. So it's not just a random idea, you can't copyright an idea. It has to be something that you have made tangible by either recording or writing or using some type of device, using something to capture it, all right? Um, so again, you can have your songs, your books, your um, screenplays, your movies, all of those have copyrights. And the interesting thing about copyrights is that that right is automatic. As soon as you create this original work, you get this copyright. Now, when you get to the place of registration, that's essentially taking the next step and saying, I want the United States government to have a record of the fact that I created this original work. And then you go through the application process for a copyright to say this thing that I created is an original work and I wanna preserve the legacy of my original work and me as the author or the creator of that thing, okay? So now moving on to trademarks, a trademark is about commerce. It is about distinguishing the source of a good, so something that you can buy, or a service, something that you do for someone. All right, so logos, business names, um, slogans, those are all things that can be trademarked because when you see certain logos or you hear certain slogans or business names, you know the origin. So if you hear the word Coca-Cola, you know that that drink came from the Coca-Cola company. All right, so again, it's identifying the source of a good. Now, the interesting thing about trademarks too is that trademarks can, are not limited to logos, names, and slogans. They could even include colors. Um, they can include specific shapes about things. So the Coca-Cola bottle actually has a trademark, but I'm not gonna go any further because that's gonna take us down a rabbit hole. The question is, again, should I copyright my logo or trademark my logo? Well, going back to what we just discussed, how one is about commerce, right? And one is about original authorship. Usually when business people are trying to think about how do I best protect my brand, the trademark is going to provide more value to you because the trademark again is how do you distinguish yourself in commerce, in business, out there in the world. Whereas a copyright just says, I've created this and I wanna be recognized as, an, as the original owner. Um, you could decide to do both, which is beautiful because that's maximum protection. Um, so let's say, for example, I was thinking about this earlier and I was thinking about the book series, The Baby Babysitter's Club. And if you were someone like me who, when I was younger, I read the Babysitter's Club books, um, all of them had the same signage on the top of the book that says The Babysitter's Club. As soon as you saw that signage, you knew that this was the same book, same author, same series. You understood that they came from the same source. But there was someone who designed that signage. You know, the block letters that were put all together? Someone drew that out. Now, there's a copyright attached to that image, the person who designed it, and a trademark I connected to the mark as a whole because it's identifying the source of a good or service. You can register both of them, but they're both separate processes. Now, the one that again protects the brand the most, right, is the trademark. Now, let's say it's about someone trying to write the book and someone's taking the literal ideas from the page and they're using not just ideas, but they're using the same characters. So Marianne, Stacy, Karen, all of the members, and they're writing a book and the exact same story. That's an infringement on someone's copyright because that's their original work. Does that make sense? I hope it does. All right. So when, again, I'm advising my clients, I usually tell them that if you're focusing on brand protection, it's better to go ahead and do the trademark. It's more expensive, it's more complicated, but it provides you rights that really protect you in the area that you're focused in. 
Now, if you're an author or you're a singer, um, a musician of some form, um, an artist of some form, you definitely want to do your copyrights. Now, one thing I also advise people is sometimes you'll do collections, but you know what? I'm not going to get into that in today's video. You're just going to have to stay tuned until the next one. Um, but for now, keep those things in mind. If you're doing brand protection, you're probably going to lean towards the trademark side. All right, well, that's all I have for you today. I hope you have a great day. And if this video is valuable to you, please go ahead and subscribe below and feel free to visit our website, www.toslegal.com for more resources. Every month we release a email that gives more insight about developing your business. So please feel free to subscribe to that as well. All right, I'll catch you on the other side. Have a great day. Bye. Bye.